In this video, I'll be walking down through the new feature available within Model Driven App related to the UI, the header and navigation refresh. Now, with a set of simple switch change in your Model Driven App, you will be able to leverage the new modern UI specifically around the header and navigation area. So the things which are covered in the new UI is the header buttons, the collapsed buttons, copilot icon, which was available in the right pane persistently is now gone. Left menu had been like, say, there are some rooms available for the left menu. It's not a uh, compact area selector is modernized, condensed page headers, compact commands and streamlined sitemap. Now, if you see, uh, if you navigate to a model driven app and if you go into the features and there is a new feature setting available named as header and navigation refresh. Now, once you enable it, uh, you can leverage the modern app header, streamlined sitemap and condensed page header with compact commands. So there are three options, turn it off completely, turn it on or keep it in an auto mode. Now, this is how the earlier interface looks like. I would not say this is a classic interface, but this is still a modern interface. But if you see uh, the area on the left side, you will not be able to see the subtle change in the new interface. But uh, in the new uh, changes, when, once you enable the uh, app header and navigation settings to on, then you will see a bit of uh, more room available. Like, so there is a lot of padding added into the left menu. Also, if you see over here, uh, there is a co-pilot icon, which remains persistently. And now remember this co-pilot icon and this co-pilot icon does the same thing. So this has been taken off in the new interface. And also the top heading bar has been uh, like say compressed to a, uh, like in a more, uh, I would say UI friendly way. This command button, as you see over here, this is like, uh, this was there, uh, but then uh, uh, it, it has been like, say, you will not be able to see all the button at once because there's no need to see all the button. You can only see first couple of button and then for other, you can just click on three dots and navigate. Now, as you see, uh, uh, within a form, again, the same thing, uh, you see a, command button, uh, I would say a ribbon on top. Uh, and also this area, as you see over here, whereby you can add like three or four fields. Uh, this is also being shown over here on the right hand side. Uh, and this is a logo and this is like a text. Now this is an old interface. Now if you see the new interface, uh, this is how the new interface will look like. So here the ribbon button or ribbon command bar is now just showing a very few items and if you want to extend you can just click on three dots and navigate and also you can see the modern icon on the share uh, filtering uh, and all those editing of the columns so all these columns over here and as you see on the right hand side we have copilot icon setting icon the notification icon and the quick add icon now this is also very compressed so the area looks pretty roomy uh, and i've just expanded this three dots and shown it to you uh, with regards to form uh, again the same thing if you see uh, from a left menu perspective but uh, there are some more roomy space available for uh, for the header component and it's much a clean ui so let's see uh, in action so this is the application over here so as you see this is like the old interface now you have a top header I can see the copilot icon over here. So I can see all these things. Uh, and also if you watch the space, now this also gets added somewhere here. And uh, the left menu, it looks okay as of now, but then compared to the newer one, uh, there's a lot of padding uh, or spacing added into the left menu to make it look more uh, nice. Now, let me do one thing, let me, go into one of the list record and let me duplicate this and let me keep this view open with so let me show you here and let me go into one of the record yeah 
So now currently the setting, if you want to make that change, you need to edit the model driven app, go into the settings, go into the features and just type in header or navigation. Then you will see header and navigation refresh. Currently the header and navigation refresh is off. If I turn it on, I'll click on save. And once it is saved, you can go ahead and publish your app. So I've already kept this old interface, like the list interface and the form interface over here. Uh, now what we are going to do, we are going to just refresh the page. And now once the page is refreshed, as you might have seen, uh, there are some subtle changes which has happened within the interface. So. As you see this co-pilot icon and then this area this will get compressed and the co-pilot icon will disappear so now i have refreshed the page and now this area has become more roomy so there's a lot of space over here so it is nice to read good ui uh, and as you see the top menu over here this has been like say you just have a couple of commands over here and then if you want to view more you can just click over here and then navigate and then this area the header component is also being uh, more uh, it, it has more space so i'll show you how the old interface looks like let me show you yeah so this is how the old interface used to look like so it had all this command bar and also the top command bar and so that's that's the change area wise it is a bit spacious i would say uh, nothing much no more changes but if i navigate to one of the form Now, this is how the new interface will look like. So, uh, it, as you see, it is still loading. So, you get this icon, you get this back button. This is the tab interface. And then this is where all the commands are stored. So, uh, on this area pane uh, over here, uh, you can add like three or four fields, but your, all your command bar will start following after this. Now, if you want to see the old interface, so this is how the old interface looks like. So you technically got rid of uh, this bar. So, so this one, so you technically got rid of the space and instead of that, the command bar somewhere starts from here. And this part has been moved over here. And as you see how this is compact, uh, like in the new interface, it is pretty roomy and same. This has been more roomy, but they have made it more compact and removed the co-pilot icon. So as you see, this is like a much cleaner interface. Now what happens to the co-pilot icon? Yes, co-pilot icon is there. You need to click on it and then it will appear. But yes, if you introduce a side pane as a part of your JS uh, or any other um, uh, application through which you trigger the side pane yes the side pane will appear provided that the side pane has more than uh, two components and then the side pane will start appearing over here in the new interface the only downside to the new interface is what i did is like i just tried uh, minimizing it so as you see uh, this is how i minimized it so let me let me show you this yeah so the moment you minimize it you see that uh, the interface does not stack up nicely it's just that that area part which has been compressed like this area doesn't look nice so if i make it to a very small form factor it doesn't line up but rest all other controls as you see in the bottom it all aligns correctly so maybe microsoft may uh, start providing some fixes in the coming days and then it will be more responsive and uh, can be used on multiple form factor so that's it folks this is how you basically uh, enable the new modern app and navigation feature for a model driven app thanks for watching